Hello, paper crafters. I'm Sunny Sky, and here's the card we're making today, but this is not really what it looks like when your recipient receives it because this envelope lifts up, and I would even send it kind of like that. Uh, I also created an alternate greeting if you don't want a Mother's Day card, if you just want a different uh, card. So this is using Celebration Free Items Stamp Set and Paper. I know that these are not available anymore, but we did this for my stamp club towards the end of March, so I didn't have a chance to post this before now. But they're great ideas on how to make the envelope, and you could use this with any stamp set. And this envelope is the perfect size that you could put a gift card in this card. Even though I know you can't use the specific stamp set and paper, I know you can find something else in the catalog that is just as fabulous. This card is featuring a stamp set and designer series paper that have retired. They were part of celebration. But we do have the other set in here, Strong and Beautiful, which is in the catalog. And really what I want to show you on this card is how to make the envelope. So you're using the envelope punch board. Comes with a stylus right inside the punch board here. I'm left-handed, so I've got to tilt it a little bit for my use comes with um, right printed right on the board uh, paper sizes that you'll need for specific card sizes what size paper you need for the envelope and where to start your score lines and the instructions are right here as well if you are not in the US and you need metric measurements it also comes with a sticker with the metric measurements that you can place right over here so you you have the uh, stylus this is a punch here. It punches an impression in the envelope and it also punches on the other side uh, a corner rounder so that you have both of those features. So uh, in this case for this card I designed it purposely so that it would fit a gift card. Okay, it fits a two by three and a half inch gift card. Also that is the size of a standard business card and so we just made a little greeting for this card. Um, and then here's a non-Mother's Day greeting that I did just because I had a couple samples for Stamp Club members. So uh, to do this two by three and a half inch gift card size, this is the paper size. You need a five by five. And it will make the envelope slightly larger than this card size that is printed here. So if that's the size of your card, be assured that your envelope is going to have a little extra space. So when you're using designer series paper, sometimes one side is really busy and it's hard to see score lines. So I always choose the side of the paper that I feel like I'm going to be able to see the score lines the easiest. For this size, we're going to start the score line on two inches. Or start the, not the, not the score line, but start the uh, uh, envelope. So you line the edge of your cardstock up at two inches punch and take your stylus in here there's a little notch in there you can just get your stylus into the notch and you can see the um, edge coming out here so you know which angle you're supposed to take your score then this measurement here this score line that is only for the first side of your card of your envelope ever after you're not worried about that two inches. That's just to get you started. All the other score lines are going to match up with the existing score line. Sometimes I fold it so that I can see where the score line is. And on the other side of this notch is that little guide there. So you're lining up your guide with the score line. Punch. Remember, you're lining up your guide there, but you're scoring over on this side. So you're going to score there. Turn it 90 degrees. And if you can't see it well, then you can go ahead and bend it. You're going to bend it at the end anyway. And you can usually feel it with your fingers as well and get it lined up. In this case, it happens to hit the two inch mark, but it will not every time. Punch and score. One more time. And let me fold it up again to help me see where that score line is can feel it lining up with that guide there for the score line and then putting my stylus in here to get this score line here. Oh, and I forgot to punch. I try to remember to punch first because I'm liable to forget. 
So if you punch first and then score, if you make that your routine, that helps you. Okay. And then this stylus as well, will, um, you can use it just like you would your bone folder to score these pieces. Now I did another one here where I just did with pencil line to show you that if you line it up on two inches, you can see the score line here and I marked it with pencil, punch, turn it, you're lining up that score line with that guide and then you're going to score along this side right here, punch and score and you can see that it's not at the starting line where we started. Line up the next one, punch and score, not pressing down and score and then take that final one, punch and score. Okay? And it's not on the other side, but one thing you can do is after you've done this, if you decide, like in the case of this envelope here, I wanted this to be on the outside. Look, there's all my little bits on the edge. Oh, and then we have the other side. You can round the corners. Remember, we had it over here, but if you take it over this side, you can punch. It's the same punch but there's a blade on either side so you can round the corners. Okay, little tiny bits. Okay, so for this envelope here, I need to reverse my score lines. Fold them in that way. And what I did on this one is I just, uh, I saw about where it lined up and I decided to just fold it in. So I just kind of marked the fold line there. This card we do have, it flips down so there's a greeting hiding underneath. And then I just wanted to show you a couple of the items that we're using to decorate this card. Okay, this is some lovely, lovely ombre ribbon. And it is in, um, this color is Calypso Coral. But this paper uh, is great for Grove. But because this is an ombre and it goes from lighter to dark, the Calypso Coral goes really well with the grapefruit Grove there. We also use some of the adhesive sequins. I love that there's already a mini glue dot on the back of these, so you don't have to uh, get a glue dot hooked up with them. And then these little um, floral romance seals that I just put on the center of the envelope there. Now these are stuck to the back of uh, this uh, clear piece of acetate that they come on, but not super sticky. I put about four glue dots on them and then I put them on top of the ribbon there. And that just helped to make sure that it was nice and sturdy and stayed where it needed to be. So if you enjoyed this little project with the envelope punch board, pick one of these up and check it out. It can do lots of different sizes of projects, all the way up to a six by eight and a half card down to a two by three and a half many many sizes in between and you probably could come up with some of your own as well. So thank you for joining me today and go have some fun crafting.